Hello, Kitty Blue here in my doll room. Uh, this is part two of the triple box opening video for September the 2nd. Um, this one is a Doll Zone doll, and I purchased it through Alice's collection. Um, there's some stuff, other stuff that I bought too. Doll Zone, upside down. Um, I forget what I was going to say. Anyways, oh, I received this like probably Wednesday, like a couple of days ago, but I didn't have a chance to open it. So this is the box opening video. Do the front of the box. Yeah, one of these days I'm going to do that and it's going to slide and slice my hand. Luckily, these are doll scissors, but I'm sure they will still cut me just as easy. Just knock something off my table. Zone. Oh, right. Back up. Now let's see what we have. said I got lots of stuff in here, fun stuff. Um, shirt I bought for one of my boys. And then um, this is a skirt, but I don't, it's kind of wide, so it might not, I don't think it's going to fit. Um, might fit my Dolphy Dream Dynamite. No. That still, I think, would probably not fit. But it's a cute little denim skirt. It was on sale, so I figured, why not? And then... Hmm. I think there's a few more things than this. Hmm. I'll have to look at my order. Oh, I see. They stuck some things in the... Uh, Packaging. Anyways, this is another shirt. Can't find the uh, opening. So that's one third as well for boys. Um, okay. I bought some shoes. I think these were on sale. One of them, I think, um, they were having the one dollar or whatever. Oh, those are so cute. So I bought these. I think these are similar to um, ones that I have for my Argo doll body. But I think with socks, these will probably fit just fine for my smart doll. And um, I'm not sure why I bought these. I could have sworn I had more than five, five things, but hmm. I mean, who doesn't, who doesn't need a pair of blue? Mary Jane shoes. Alright, so that is that. I don't think there's anything else hiding in here besides my doll. Okay, we have our nice little eye putty, which I usually don't use. Um, lots of sponges. Some eyes, glass eyes. They look like they're a pink color. So I've got a pair of glass eyes. I'm assuming those may have come from Doll Zone. I'm not sure. Alright. Doll Zone. This is 
Interesting. Oh, and it just folds out. I see. So this is pretty cool because a lot of people are just like, how do I, how do I string my doll? And uh, Dollzone now provides instructions on how to restring your doll. But there are lots of videos here on YouTube. Um, I think I might have done one at some point as well. This is the certificate, which um, I kind of used to like the postcards that they had. Actually, no, Doll Zone didn't do that. That was Doll Chateau. Um, but this is a Doll Zone card. Oh, they do have a photo card. This is... Um, just a certificate. The number is right there under my finger. No other information, but it also came with this. And that's cute. Um, Taru. All right, so that is actually the doll that I got is a Taru, which is a rabbit. Must have been Doll Chateau or maybe I remember getting a metal card that was the C uh, certificate of authentic authenticity, but um, that could have been Doll Chateau. I don't remember. Anyway, let's get moving on. Packaged all nicely in some foam. Okay, and I'm really, really hoping that my request is correct. Um, I had requested this to be on a different body, and it is green, so I have a green rabbit. This is the head. I did not get a face up on it, um, because... You'll see. I'll explain it here when I get the body opened. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, it's huge. This head is huge. Look at those ears. Oh my God. The head is huge. not so bad so um, the way the it's like a face plate like um, some company dolls uh, do this th this way um, Fairyland mini fees are an example of that but there is a notch there there is the emblem on the back of the head and there is so you'll uh, put the top in first and then the bottom just comes down. Oh my gosh. The head is huge. I'm not even sure if this is going to fit on my, um, <laughs> in my book space. I'm going to have to put him with the SD dolls because of his ears. I guess I can like put his ears down when I have him in the, uh, bookcase. <laughs> Anyways, and I said him. So yes, it is on a boy body. I decided I wanted a boy bunny. I was very tempted to get a boy and a girl, but I'm actually glad I got the boy body because it's a little bit thicker than the girl body is. Okay, here's his backside. A little 
composability. We got that direction. We got that direction. Arms are double jointed, so they go all the way in. And this is the cool thing. I got it on the heart body. So there is a heart. Um, what I was thinking about doing with this one is kind of like, you know, having maybe even stitches or something on him. Um, I haven't really decided. I'm also like, hmm, I'm still hmm about this head because uh, this head is huge. I didn't realize it was going to be this big. If I would have gotten it in a different color, like normal or something, I probably would have tried to um, get a Lutz, um, uh, MDF, I think. Yeah, KDF is the kids MDF model, model Delph body because it's a little bit thicker and bigger, but so cute. And, um, this is, I don't know what I did with my girl. Um, so the green for doll zone is actually looks lighter than doll chateau, which I thought pretty much that their colors kind of match pretty well. Um, so I'm going to grab that real quick just to uh, check that out. Okay. I'm back. Um, looking at them, the doll chateau that I have is darker, however, and I completely forgot this. Um, this body that my insect girl um, was second hand, so I think it's yellow. That's why it's that's uh, pretty much like the darker shade. So yeah, but it's a really nice soft pur purple, <laughs> nice soft green. Um, Dalsons double jointed knees. There is a mobility joint right there that spins around. And um, yeah, I can't wait to like send him out for a face up and get this painted um, within the heart. And it's hard to like actually even see all that stuff, but there's like a gear and everything in there. Um, so hopefully whoever I send it to has a nice lovely magnifying glass that they can use to paint this because yeah, interesting. And uh, just to show you the um, ears are not magnetic. They're actually strung um, in there. Hopefully that elastic never pops because yeah, I'm sure trying to tie that is not fun. But yeah, he's so cute. So that is box opening number two. I mean, like, see how big his ears are? Oh my gosh. Okay, actually he will. Um, he'll fit on my one shelf here, but he's not going to fit in the shelf that I usually have my anthro dolls. I'm still like, <laughs> hmm. I really want to like, I almost want to find a different body um, that is thicker than this because yeah, this head, this head is huge. I can't even imagine this on the girl body, to be honest, because the girl body is even more slim. Anyways, yes, enough about my huge rabbit head, Mr. Hare here. Um, yeah, one more box opening to go for today, and then I can play around with my dolls, take some photos, um, which I will place up on my Instagram, get some eyes in the sky, at least until I can um, get him out for a face-up. And find him some clothes. I think I'm pretty sure I got um, some MSD size clothes that will fit him. So that is it for this box opening.
Uh, make sure you subscribe so that you can get notification of future videos. Like the video and feel free to place any comments below. Um, I will include a link to Doll Zone, Alice's collection, and um, New Clover Singing is usually where I get stuff from, but I decided to order this through um, Alice's collection. But I'm just going to, I'm not going to put that in the link. You can look that up, New Clover Singing. Um, but yes, down below is where it will be. So take care. See you next time.